Hi everybody, this is Andy with wristadvisor.com and today we have a very special review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Oris Aquastate Caliber 400. Now this is a new release by Oris and in my opinion this might be the best one that they've ever done. If you've been watching the channel for a while you know that we've gotten hands-on with a good amount of Oris watches and I can confidently say that out of all the ones that we've received this one is by far the best. Uh, before we get into some of the specs and features of this watch, I just want to commend Oris. Uh, I think they have definitely listened to what their users and uh, their, their fan base have wanted. And you're seeing a lot of this in this watch. So before, like I said, we're going to get into some of the, the technical features. I know you guys love seeing these wrist shots. So I have a 7-inch wrist. And I don't have the bracelet size, but I'll, I'll pinch it to give you a good reference. Uh, this doesn't fit uh, too big, too small. It is a 41 millimeter dive watch. It's actually 41.5 millimeters. So it's right there in, in that sweet spot. I think people with large wrists, people with small wrists um, alike can be able to wear this watch. So let's talk about uh, the biggest improvements for the Aquastate collection. Um, and it is what's housed on the inside. So we have an ex an exhibition case back right here, and it houses the Oris 400 movements, and that's where the uh, the name of this watch, the Caliber 400, gets it from. This is special. So this is done in house by Oris. The power reserve on this is 120 hours, which is five days. It has improvements in anti magnetic ratings, which is Gauss comes with a 10-year warranty so you know if you've ever been on the edge of, of buying into an Oris you can comfortably do this um, for for less than what you could be buying similar watches that the movements do not carry all these same specs so you know it's just a, it's a great dive watch and it is a great movement um, so let's cover a couple other features. We've got the automatic self-winding, 21 joules, and this runs at 4 hertz. So great job, Oris. Uh, an amazing upgrade to the Aquastate collection. Like I said, we've got a 41 millimeter case. We've got uh, crown guards right here. We have uh, 22 millimeters distance between the lugs. We have a domed sapphire crystal with anti-magnetic, I mean, not anti-magnetic, um, anti-reflective coating on the inside. And we have the ex Exhibition Sapphire case back again. So this case is rated for 300 meter water resistance or 30 bar. So you could comfortably take this in, uh, you know, any water situation you're going to be doing. Most of us aren't diving 300 meters, but if you are going to do it, this thing could accompany you on your journey. Uh, for the bezel, we have a ceramic bezel. And I'll be quiet real quick so you guys can hear the click. Uh, I know a lot of people dive watches. It's really important to them. And this is going to hit that mark. So I will, uh, I'll shut up for a second. I'll let you listen. When you turn the bezel, um, it's It's smooth. But it gives that resistance as well that you're not going to bump into this and it's going to turn a little bit on you. Um, and then uh, they really have it tight. So I, I'm not going backwards on this when I'm applying uh, the opposite pressure. So uh, great job, Oris, quality control. Um, you know, ranks up there with a lot of other dive watches that, that we've done in the past. We know we've done the Omegas. We've done the Grand Seiko. And uh, the bezel on this is just absolutely superb. So let's get into this specific reference. Uh, when I saw this released, um, you know, what I wanted to get hands on with was the blue sunburst style and the blue bezel. I just think that the execution of this has just been flawless. And, you know, I'm, I'm watching the video right now as, um, you know, li live as I'm talking about it. And I don't know how well this blue is going to show up. I do know that we're going to be doing a review for the website that's going to have some better pictures taken of this. 
so you guys can have a better idea of what this blue looks like. But it's absolutely stunning. And I'll put it back on the wrist again so you can see. You know, a, a lot of brands right now, and especially Oris, is going outside of that traditional just black dial, black bezel, or, or you know, the, the black and white look, and really incorporating tons of color into what they do. And, um, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of the releases with the new bronze and the pastel colors, and, and that's cool. But sticking to this is, I mean, I really think that they should go forward with more collections with this type of a, a, a blue with the summer style. I think it's just absolutely amazing. So you can pick one of these up, um, and you won't be you won't believe what I tell you. Thirty five hundred dollars US uh, MSRP for this watch. So what you're getting with this is you're getting that incredible movement. You're getting the three hundred meter water resistance. You are getting a perfectly executed uh, bezel color combination, and I'm so glad that we're seeing this in, in Oris is the tapered bracelet. So, you know, one of my knocks on, on the Seamaster 300 meter is that the bracelet doesn't taper. And I think a lot of people feel the same way. They love the case. They love the dial. They love the watch. But the bracelet kind of lets it down. Now, I've had it for a while. So, you know, I've grown to love it and I enjoy it now. Um, but I wish it tapered, and Oris does a fantastic job tapering this down to this really easy, simple deployment clasp. So overall, I'm going to give Oris a really high score on this. Uh, if anyone on the channel is watching this, and and you know you're probably seeing this video because you typed in the Oris Aquastate Caliber 400, uh, it gets my stamp of approval. I really like this watch. Uh, it's something that I might actually add to my collection sometime soon. If I do, I'll do another video based on, um, you know, documenting my buying experience of it. Uh, but this is, uh, this is a really good watch to get hands on with. Like I said, we get hands on with a lot. I got really excited about this one when I opened the box. Um, if you guys have any questions for me on this, I'm pretty active in the comments. Um, so shoot me a question. I'll answer anything that I can, uh, as honest as I can. Um, so guys, I just want to say thanks for joining us on this video. Uh, you know, the channel's growing, views are picking up, subscriber base is picking up. I want to thank everybody that subscribed, everyone that, that's viewing. If you're viewing this right now and you're not a subscriber, it really does help us uh, subscribing, really does help us get more hands-on with watches like this. So for the last time, I want to say thanks, and we will see you on the next video.